Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. I think we're on like episode 20 already, which is like a huge um, progress in our series so far. Um, now what we were working on was harvesting the crops here. Some of these are going to seed, so we're going to have to uh, tell them to harvest those out. Preferably they get to the uh, harvesting for the other ones as well, but... I don't know if they will. Uh, we'll just have to keep an eye on it. Uh, some of these might already be... Yeah, these are... Those ones are flowering. These ones are going to seed, so these need to be harvested as well. I'm not sure how long we have until they die, but... That's good. Um, so there's some fish here that we can... Mine out as well. I'll probably do this one. I'll leave those two. I'm just stockpiling on a whole bunch of stuff that we can get our hands on at the moment as well, so it's no particular order, but I'm just letting the fish kind of multiply a little bit, and we've been mining uh, all these eels over here as well. I'm trying to get rid of them all, but it keeps spawning like crazy. <laughs> but Okay, somebody mining. Ah, yes. Okay, so I, I don't know, because he kind of alterates between harvesting and, or planting and, oh, I think he's like, he plants, not harvests, harvest plants, so that's probably why he's mining right now, so we're mining out some of this limestone, trying to get that all, um, good, and then we can start mining downwards. Probably need a ladder or two to get down there but um yeah we'll probably get them to mine out this part as well and probably need the iron as well uh, until we start building something there but yeah so the idea um we have these two plots here for the um carrots and beetroots and then I was thinking about doing another one around here somewhere. Probably connect it up to this point eventually. But to uh, do for the um, berries as well. But that's at least the idea. I'm not sure how it's going to go and stuff like that. But work in progress, you know. Uh, for the other barn, um, we could stick it right over here for the chickens. We probably want another loft.
Alright, so when I removed this stairs, there was a couple goats up on the top of the stairs here, and uh, they're kind of stuck. Uh, it seems to be like a bug, possibly. They didn't actually go to the floor like usually settlers do, if you mine something out from under them. So I don't know, but um, I, did, I marked them as slaughter, but I don't think anyone can actually reach them either, so it's just kind of funny. So they're just going to have to slowly die like they're they're already hungry so i suspect in a couple days they'll start losing hit points and eventually um uh fall to the ground or something like that i don't know where they'll end up but i'll, I'll need to um put the door in before i can actually build the stairs and hopefully that will work when i get the uh thing set up right now as you can see there's a little bit of the marker up here where it's classified as the um what do you call it um oh you know what we have a negotiator i wonder if we can just hand them over uh let's see here because i don't necessarily want to keep them i just want them to go over there so we'll send somebody out there over to um, negotiate. Hopefully we can hand them over because I don't really want to pay a whole bunch of money to these guys for the guy. I, I accepted somebody in that was running from the Philosophers, which is our closest faction. And before, what you could do is you could... Um, hand them back for like 50 rep or something like that but I'm not sure if that's gonna be still the case we'll have to wait and see I don't know where they are they're over there we have 23 hours to negotiate so we got plenty of time but settlers a little exhausted yeah I'm quite aware of that Okay, so here they come. We'll find out really quickly. Hopefully, we'll be able to hand them over. Alright, we have three options. Uh, uh, decide to make them an offer. Surrender. Uh, yeah, that's the one I want. Yeah, so we'll go with this one. I'm not sure if we got um, rep points from that. Alignment.
Alright, so the goats still haven't died yet. Now they're still sticking around. Um, I'm not sure how the negative thing works. Because this one's at negative 39 and the other one's at um, negative 72. So I'm not sure if this other one got stuck with the hunger. Oh, it's at negative 41 now. Huh. Okay, uh, maybe it goes to like negative 100 or something like that and then they die? I'm not sure. <laughs> I thought it was like zero for settlers when they start starving, but I don't know. We'll keep an eye on it and once we get these two animals like removed, we'll have to remove that other door I think. Because there's that little part up here that is considered a um, interior part for the thing so might need to remove the door just to be safe and then we'll have to put the door down there I guess and then the door up here or the stairs and then the door or something like that I don't know we'll see what we can come up with to see if it works uh, we'll probably build that first door first until we don't get anything in this area and then we'll try to build the door up there just to be on the safe side I think we don't even really need the door up here as long as we um have the door down here right so it's just a matter of getting it rendering properly it's an odd bug for sure but anyhow uh yeah we've um apparently our settlers are exhausted sylvester one of our cows died as well so but i don't know we'll tend to that in a little bit we'll get them to um chop the animals up we have a couple here oh there was a chicken but i guess they tended to the chicken so now it's just the cow i'm not sure how we're doing on food down here actually it's not that great i don't think that's gonna get us through the winter oh we have another one over here that might that might work i don't know um, got barley as well, so we don't need to worry about that, but we should definitely consider, um, getting some more stuff grown, and giving that this isn't producing anything, we should probably, we're on day six for summer, so we might be able to fit a couple more harvests in. These are all... I think we don't have enough farmers because they keep missing all these um, things. Tell them. Alright guys, so we're on day 8 summer and we're going to get them to start planting that, um, what do you call it, the cabbage again? 
uh, so we can get that a little bit more food for the winter and um, hopefully we'll be able to get I think we got quite a bit of barley so we might if we don't if we're not able to do that then we'll have some barley for the winter as well I think we have a little bit stockpiled so we should be fine for that um, without any problems or anything like that but um, just to have that extra little bit of cabbage might help really a lot so um, actually how long does it take for carrots take four days both of these take four days so you know what let's tell them to grow these as well um, we'll enable that four days so eight 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah. That, that could work. If we get right on that right now, we will be able to um, do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell everyone to stop harvesting stuff. I'm going to tell them to focus on the um, planting. And that will um, allow us to get that part all sorted out really quickly. And hopefully by nightfall, we'll have both of these things planted and then we'll have a little bit extra food. But I do need to make a more centralized um, seed vault somewhere around here. I'm not sure where I'm going to be putting it just yet, but it's been on my mind for a while. Uh, outside of that, if you are uh, new to my community, uh, you might want to consider joining our Discord server and hang out with the rest of the community. And... Um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Peace out.